quite possibly discovering the most powerful deck in Outlaws of Thunder Junction in today's video. Hey, welcome back ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having an absolute magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. As always, your host Hello Good Game is here to break down the latest and greatest in Magic the Gathering Arena, the newest set early access event. Thank you, Wizards. Appreciate you for bringing it back, truly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Showcasing the new cards. The set is out in Arena Playable for All on the 16th. Tournament Legal on the 19th, okay? Um, we have a ton of Mythics in the set and Rares that I would like to do my best to showcase during the event as the accounts are totally loaded with wild cards, gems, gold, whatever you need, it's there. Um, and this way, we don't have to spend resources on all of these cards yet, but we can still determine whether or not we want to beforehand. We get a little taste, right? Is this card actually good or not? So doing my best to showcase the latest and greatest, and we've got a deck filled with new cards. It's Jezekai Artifact Stacks, accumulating um, non-creature permanents, Holding on to that value, cleaning up the field with some uh, wipes, and having fun, of course, with new cards. Breaking down our deck list in depth today, discussing the strategies and synergies held within in hopes of providing you, the viewer, a deeper understanding of how you can pilot this deck effectively and efficiently. Uh, some insight into my play lines that you'll be seeing as well via our gameplay footage against the best players. Oh yes, we have uh, Pro Tour players as well as other creators invited uh, into this exclusive event. Again, Wizards, thank you so much. Finally, wrapping up with our concluding thoughts, deck review and channel news, okay? So again, thank you all again. Uh, truly, like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community Discord. Kick back, relax, and enjoy. It's a new lap record. Let's take a look at the deck, HGG. You're always yelling. But let's see the goods, huh? All right. They truly are good. Uh, first and foremost, the Simulacrum Synthesizer. You know? <laughs> Three mana and artifact when it enters play. We're going to scry two. Good start. Whenever another artifact with mana value three or greater enters the battlefield under your control, create a zero zero with plus one plus one uh, for each artifact that you control. That's pretty groovy. Uh, it's an enter, not cast, which is pretty cool for our specific deck as well because we're going to combo it with the esoteric um, duplicator, three mana. Whenever you sacrifice it or another artifact, you may pay two if you do at the beginning of your next end step, create a token. That's a copy of that artifact. Pay to sacrifice it, draw a card. So it has a self-sacrifice for two built in, but we could also sacrifice it with a few other cards in deck. First and foremost will be the Legion Extruder for two, an artifact when it enters the battlefield. Two damage to any target. Thank you very much. Removal if you need it. If not, throw it in to the end zone. Furthermore, we can pay to tap it to sacrifice another artifact. Yes, creating a three three golem in the process which is really cool so still paying two but now we're getting a three three out of it instead of it just happening organically which is great we can also do it with a surge for one at instant speed two damage to creature or planeswalker if you sacrifice an artifact however it's going to deal four instead so you get the damage upgrade plus now you're going to get the trigger on the duplicator which is very very good uh and we like to copy the synthesizer uh if we can, uh, or ourself, you know, that's gonna be okay. Uh, I say this because we will have some interaction in the deck as well. Uh, three steps ahead. One mana with spree at instant speed, plus two counter target spell. So you always have to pay the one and then for each other effect and you can choose them all, you have to pay that cost in addition and it all adds up together, right? So uh, three counter target spell, four, create token that's a copy of target artifact or creature you control or three again uh draw two cards and then discard a card and again uh, if it's a late game you can add those together which is crazy so the counter spell obviously but then you can create uh copies of your artifacts which is uh pretty good and if you do them both at the same time 
brutal, dude. Uh, and then the draw and discard's not bad either. You know, why not throw it into the card? This, if you are a blue mage, is a must-have. We're talking about cards that you need in the set. This is it. It's playable in all formats. It's the new new. I love it. Not to take away from the duplicator, the synthesizer, or the extruder, but they're, I think, going to be dependent upon you playing an artifact deck. Uh, this three, that just is going in blue decks. You run blue, put it in, right? It's as easy as that. Um, so good bang for your book on that wild card. All right. So, um, you know, some more interaction in deck. Uh, that we can speak about. But first, I, I want to talk about another engine that we have, and it's the Thousand Moon Smithy for four. When it enters the battlefield, create a white gnome. Its power and toughness are equal to the number of artifacts uh, and or creatures that we control, which is great. And then at the beginning of our pre-combat main phase, we can tap five untapped artifacts and or creatures to transform it into Barracks of the Thousand, at which point, whenever you cast an artifact or creature spell using mana produced by it, you'll create another one of those golems. It's beautiful. Uh, absolutely insano in the braino. Uh, we're creating the constructs here with the synthesizer, uh, and then the golems with the smithy cast, and then whenever we're spending that thousandth mana, uh, which will be every turn, <laughs> to create uh, more of these artifact creatures where their power and toughness are each equal to the number of artifacts we have, and we're stacking that number of those artifacts up, which is great. Um, so back to the interaction, right? The extruder is stacking up removal or interaction. Spring-loaded saw blades in the same fashion. Two mana artifact with flash when it enters five damage to tapped target creature and opponent controls. Very, very good, right? Splitting the difference with two damage removal, five damage removal should get a variety of things. Furthermore, we've already mentioned the Surge, two or four as well. You can combine your damage to deal larger amounts, keep in mind, uh, as well as the Might Stone and the Weak Stone. When it enters, target creature can either receive minus five, minus five, or you draw two cards. Furthermore, it taps for two mana, which we don't mind. Um, it's a mana value three or greater artifact, triggering the Synthesizers, right? Can trigger the Thousandth Moon. It stacks for us and provides pretty good value. Furthermore, if we're sacrificing it uh, with the extruder or surge, whatever it happens to be via the uh, duplicator, it's a good draw engine. It's a removal engine. It's a good draw engine. Uh, and it's it's enough, you know, so we absolutely love it. Uh, and then Sunfall, you know, to make sure that you win every single game. Because <laughs> we're stacking all of our value as non-creature. And then Sunfall is going to take care of all the creatures. We retain our value, take care of all of our opponent's uh, board state, right? Which is really nice. And then, you know, just filling in the deck with the Vault. Artifact, two mana, draw a discard, create a treasure. It's a three mana deck. Mana consistency is nice. The treasure helps, okay? Also, just sorting through your deck is fine as well. And then the prototype, Moon Snare, is an artifact for one that can tap itself as well as another artifact to generate a mana. Uh, and that's good ramp. Right? It's an artifact. We're stacking them up again, our total of them, uh, and allowing us to play uh, our our uh, deck a little bit earlier than we typically would or, you know, begin double casting uh, earlier as well. Very, very good. Mirix is here, can create more artifacts. We'll also have the Vault, a very good card in the deck. Pay three, tap it, discard a card. Look at the top X, where X is the number of artifacts you control. Put <laughs> one into your hand, you know, <gasps> rest and bottom and random. Uh, so this is going to keep us going, which I really like. And then, you know, the channel lands for utility. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Make sure to like the YouTube channel as well uh, in the video there. Um, so that's great with the channel lands. And then, you know, just keeping it consistent. Uh, and, you know, th this can change as well. Uh, you know, I'm sure I can get these lands better, but just really trying to showcase all the decks quickly. It, that, that percentage that the land base is going to matter is is low right um but let's just talk about some of these uh mythics that i don't have i don't have all these mythic wild cards hgg don't worry neither do i um and are they good enough are they worth buying well it depends if you like to play an artifact deck like this if you do uh, maybe you don't need four of the duplicators right definitely the synthesizers you will um and you can build up to it right play with what you have build in later as you go it's a very powerful deck and you could add more field wipes to this uh to make it maybe even more consistent uh, who knows where this goes uh in the next version uh but what i do know is the number of creatures 
of obscene power and toughness that we're able to pump out is a lot of fun. So I hope you all enjoy today's gameplay footage against some of the best in the world. Oh my gosh. Like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community Discord, but most importantly, kick back, relax, and uh, let's roll out, yeah? All right. I mean, this is an interesting hand. I, we're definitely going to mulligan this, right? This is a little bit better. Keep six and toss the counter spell. Like, I don't have that second blue source. I will get the Surge active first and foremost. Just make sure we, you know, can keep everything in check. Nothing snowballs. Howdy, partner! The new emotes are pretty good. Prototype may have been a better play, but it's really hard to say. Hmm. Well, this is all right by me. They still get hand knowledge. Whenever you sacrifice it or another artifact, the beginning of your end step, create a token that's a copy of it. Um, you know, I think we're just getting this in play because it's three mana. I need that second blue source. Just a mana rock. We could sacrifice it to draw a card, but we don't want to do this yet, right? We want to wait, right? So we're going to make a copy of it. I thought we were supposed to make a copy of it. Have I lost my mind? Indeed, HGG, you have. We have counter magic up, and we should probably hold it there. Sorry. Whenever uh, it or another artifact is sacrificed, you may pay two if you do at the beginning of the next end step. Create a token that's a copy of that artifact. Pay two, sacrifice a draw card. Did we not do that? Should we not have gotten a token of it? It or another. If you do pay two, we did, did we not? Or else we wouldn't have been able to sacrifice it. Oh, we paid two to sacrifice it, but not two to copy it. I understand where we messed up. That's okay. It's, it's fine. I don't think it's worth countering. Sorry, I'm, I misread that. We don't mind this. They're just looking for something specific. I wonder what it would be. We could just draw and discard. That's fine, though. Land is great. Um, you know, I don't appreciate this having double blue for a counterspell. But we could probably just wipe the field anyways. Right? Take our scry, and that should help out. 
Get out of here. Both of you. And that would be good to copy as well. Right? Which we could do for four. First match with the deck, right? It's not a very easy to play deck either. Okay. I actually don't mind. They're milling themselves. Okay. Let's take the land. We definitely are holding this up. Is this only at sorcery speed? No, I think we can do that whenever. I could be wrong on that. Maybe craft a sorcery speed. Um, Only a sorcery. Okay, yeah. Counter magic is important. Mm. We have seven mana. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Or else they're taking it. I think I'm going to take the synthesizer. Now we get to create a uh, token, which is pretty cool. Surge. We need the vault. It's not bad. Not terrible. Play the land, and what a land it is. From our grave, for the craft, we have no counter magic to hold up this turn. So get after it. And then... We could tap these two. But it has summoning sickness, actually. So let's take our hit. There's a block. That's fine. I suspect graveyard recursion. Let's get rid of the summoning sickness on that craft. They know we have Sunfall. So they don't want to play too many creatures at once. Probably just like, you know, a Traxxas over or a Tollies over and over. Something like this. Something good, yeah? I don't doubt it. It's here. I don't want to toss my Sunfall. I think that's like saving us a bit. That's going to bring some stuff back. Uh, whenever a legendary creature you control dies, so we're going to exile it at least. Oh, we're not because they... T no, no. The Surge. The Surge is a beautiful card. Yep. We don't want to cycle it or else they get the Surge, right? 
And are we forced to do this? Discard a card, which we can't do, but it's an additional cost. Let's hit for 10, potentially. I think I take it before there's counter magic. Right? And this is sorcery speed? No, anytime. Okay. Discard a card, look at the top X cards of your cards of your library. Number of artifacts you control. One of them to your hand, rest on the bottom. Random order. Yeah, okay. I was like, you didn't actually finish you should relook, because you don't know for sure. You just like glance for the word sorcery, didn't see it and said no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe go back and look, HGG. You should you should double check on that one. Oh, that's a good card. That's good. Whew. Again, this is a death trigger, I think. So we can hopefully get in there. I don't know though. We're gonna need to get lucky. And for five. We can still incubate while tapped. Weren't they nice? But looking to get there. I wish I wouldn't have like this would have been nice to have and play. <laughs> Never change, HGG. Never change. All right, Let's transform. Nice draw, nice draw. Synth for a scry. We want to be playing this to make golems while this is alive. Ooh. Bring out our chariot. Swing for five. Hmm. Very nice. It's a crime. They can pay one. They don't. Okay. That's good, too. They can't pay here. Um, It's playable for us. And then we could sacrifice an artifact to create a 3-3. Three, three which we will hold up, right? It's instant speeds, we have five damage in hand, instant speed to tapped. Cycling is no crime. Good game. I'm used to my good game being there. All right, looking for better land. Well, I mean, you found it. 
keeping six. Tossing the slow blue land. And then we need prototype one. Draw an untapped land off the top. Obviously. I mean, they're all slow lands, right? So. That's nice. It's good to have. Um, we can take this as well, which is great. Pass turn. Bolt is nice. Good card. Passes in. Uh, Smithy is a go. Doesn't really matter. All right, it's not two mana anyways, so. Actually, no, still only one. Ooh. Land out. Two damage. And then we would be sacrificing this, I guess. Which doesn't do anything right now. Let's hit for five. And this is instant speed, right? So we can just chill out. Or make another token. I think token sounds good. Now we have two six sixes. Hitsugu's so good. Oh my god. I can literally just win the game, right? Top decking removal off the top. Does this enter the battlefield tapped? Um, whenever you cast an artifact, no, that's the backside of it. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, you may tap five untapped artifacts if you do. Transform it. So just don't tap itself. I don't know if I want to do this. I think so. Both great cards. Both great cards. All right, well, that is actually good because that gets the card off the top that they put there. So now they don't know what's there. But we are exposing ourselves to more damage than we'd like to. Land out, surveil. That actually could be good. It allows them to relook, right? And it goes. The field wipe goes. Interesting. Are these treasures? Yeah. So there's a field wipe this turn. It has to be. And then they are... Yeah. We're going to take the smithy? The rest are tokens. Okay. I mean, this is already transformed. That's fine. And then this is bad, though. Oh, it's a land! Lord have mercy. Take some damage here. We can sack this as well. Hold one up. Ah! Let's interact with that. Oh, you think? I do. 
Jebated. Oh, that's a good card. I really like this Newt. I think it's finutable. We want to copy this, kill that, hit for lethal. Toss a synth. Kill the newt. Hit for 11. Oh! Can I get a blocker? Sometimes I only need one turn in this game, so let's see if they can capitalize. Drawing, discarding, making a treasure. Oh, I like the key. I think that's a good card, too. I like love to see it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you only need one turn. That's what I'm talking about. They get it. They get it. They get it. There is hope, right? Is there? Maybe. Do you think we take lethal? Do you think they have it? We're only getting one extra damage, so I think maybe we should hold it. Because they're going to block the 11 anyways. They have to. I think I sacrificed the 11. Or do you think they have it? Ah, oh, when it dies, exile top card of your library. Target opponent loses life equal to its mana value. If it's an instant or sorcery, get it for free. Down to five. I don't know. That, that could have been game winning, right? What if it was like another breach? Because they get to choose what's there when they play it, right? With the first part of it. Uh, draw three, then put two back. Right? So that's never great. <laughs> so I think we just try to interact with it. Uh, draw and discard here so they don't know what's on top anymore. It's a virtue. Uh, I see what, three, four, five available mana as well. Okay, drawing and losing life to two. Land out. Three mana, two cards. Good game, homie. I like a good stack stack. You know, uh, non-creature permanents, they're harder to remove. And specifically, uh, non-creature permanents that create creatures. Ah, right? Uh, wedding announcement's a good example of this. We all know and love this card for a long time. Uh, and we got so many new goodies. All right, so let's uh, first say hi to the kitty. Meow. Hmm? Yeah, this microphone's in my way. Puny human, move it for me. So bossy. I'm just going to get it out of the way. This is why I lose all my games. I'm so distracted. He got, he got some prime material there. If you weren't subscribed before. <laughs> <laughs> Two. 
Two to the dome. Add one mana of any color. When you commit a crime, untap it once a turn. All right, let's get our synthesizer in play. Oh, we have four land. I need... I love these cards, but I A, need my fifth. And B, need three mana or more. Those are hard tosses. If I had another red source, I'd probably... Wait, well, hold on, I don't know. I know we only play one a turn, but... So, crime, untap, land ramp. That's actually really good. Wow. If that didn't have a once per turn clause, so we should have countered that. We need a fifth land. And they've already ramped, which is hard. And we only have one blue, so this is not a counter spell. We could instant speed create a synthesizer, which does nothing. Let's play this, make a token, and then create copies. Also trying to get the Sunfall off first. Oh, two of them. They're going to have so much mana. I mean, it's a crime. Opens up the attack lanes. I like it. I'm in a bad spot for a stack stack. Right, you can't see my cards. I'm going to shrink down a bit. And scrooge over. A lot of triggers here. It's very, very cool. Not something I even thought of. Um... I had paired the Free Strider, but with removal, right? So these other crimes that aren't removal-based are kind of popping, you know? It's pretty cool. They can still attack if they want. 14, we go. Playing another land. <laughs> Dang. We get it. This is going to be absolutely crippling. As intended. Do you think they're double blocking or they just take it? Oh, I'm just going to take it. Now, hopefully, we don't immediately lose the game and we can hold up counter magic after this. And the land attacking, I think, helps us do just that. Oh, down to eight. Wow. I'm defending. And I'm making copies of the synthesizer. To copy the incubate tokens irrelevant. The plus one counters do not transfer. Copy the synth if we can. They might have counter magic of their own. I would assume at this point. Even just removing uh, the synth would be pretty decent. Green can do it. Six steps ahead, I, I guess you'll need to be. Nine, actually, you'd, you'd have to be at that point. We could have, oh, close. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm going to keep this to discard with this. And I'm going to hit for six. We could always make a chump blocker with the Legion. 
if you know that's what's happening. They can have their draw. You think they still have counter magic? What do you mean I don't have enough mana? They could have more counter magic. Or just be pulling ours for their next spell. Bill. Bill, Bill, Billadelphia. Oh no, Bill, you poor guy. So let's first hit for six. Then sacrifice. The duplicator. Pay two. We get the kill. And turn. It re-enters. Uh, it makes us another golem to defend. Round and round we're going to go. Edict is decent. Drawing a card. Two in hand. Another Oko. Making an Elk. Elk to four. Elko has Hexproof, but also Summoning Sickness. All right, take our turn. Activate the Vault. Toss the land. Dig, 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 dig. Um, Only two available mana. Three after we play. Forcing blocks. One card in hand, it shouldn't be relevant. They're lucky to have interaction if they do. Down to one. Can make another, which is good. Um, we're big chilling. Maybe we should be converting these to creatures with the Legion, just finish it. That's something we could have done last turn potentially, but this is okay. I'm going to interrupt their draw. I can't afford to pay two, unfortunately. We do create the 3-3 three, three in lieu of. And there's no draw for Edict or their the draw. <laughs> Elko can still minus. They still have a land to block. Drawing two, bringing the land out, destroying our golem, uh, hitting for lethal. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me.
I didn't think about it till just now. <laughs> oh, wow. What's that card in hand? No, 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 no. Oh, we should have killed Oko. I miscalculated the draw on the edict. That's that's good. That's good. The duelist does have summoning sickness. Could be saving grace because they might not have enough to cast and also activate because this is five and itself for six. And they've already played a land this turn, I believe. No, but it's in tapped. <gasps> oh. I think they still would have needed one more. Bruh. Bruh. That's so close. That's so close! Vigilance, I mean, you just hit. Bro, I see you. Don't worry. I honor the beatdown you're providing me with. Very, very good. At least take a good game before you leave. Come on. At least let me hit you for lethal. I let people. It's okay. It takes an extra 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. Rock and roll. Let's get after it. I need faster lands. Removal up. Removal down. Scry two. They're both so good. I kind of just want to play these over and over though, you know? Hey. Hit for three. Pretty decent start. Green does have artifact removal, as does red. Uh, and it also just has bombs. These two cards work really good together. I think they're from the new set, right? Stop it, HGG. Big hit. Not proud of myself. You're not? Well, I'm a little bit now. <laughs> I'm coming over. I like the new reach icon. Really stands out. Ooh. That's not bad. So Helena on Inti. Reckless on Helena. They're not using Inti at all? Dude www.tripleblockds.net What does this do? No way. For three plus one plus zero first strike. Don't care. Or whenever it deals damage, which it won't. Draw a card. They can't pay four. And you shall deal no damage. First strike's fine. It doesn't really change anything. But um five of them, you say.
double triggers, and technically a triple trigger. This is enters the battlefield as well. So I think we're just going to go ahead and do this. And then pay two. Another round for the boys! <laughs> okay, so there's five 12-12s. I'm a damage-based deck. This is still a match somehow. Bro, you're not going to let me hit for lethal? Come on! It's fun! <laughs> oh my gosh. Alrighty. I don't like the land. It could be better. I'll probably mulligan this. Much better, much better. Let's keep six. Honestly, I need two blue. I don't have it. Let's find a two drop, though. That would be great. Oh, that's a big boy. I like Naya quite a bit, though. Wish me luck. Scry 2. I guess looking for a field wipe. Which neither of these are. Hey. You settle down over there. No attack, at least. I'm going to play this first. Just as a, a casual blocker. Then if there's more removal, we have a backup and it's not taking our second synth. Oh, terror is a terror. What a good card. They won't block. There's no way they block. We have six available mana, so it should be fine. Land goes, snare goes. They're not three drops. Now we attacked as a three to bait the block before we pushed it to four. That's massive. Nice. Luckily, we get the removal. Only one land a turn. We can keep it in hand. Four cards in their hand, and this brawler is big, bro.
Yeehaw. <laughs> I need a farewell off the top. All right, we can chump block. At least it's something, Mac. That lockdown slayed me. Kind of need those tokens. They're important. Raptor's good. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can crew. That's, it could be worse. It's one way to think of it. Let's, let's, uh, let's make it worse. That's a lot of damage, bro. They're going to take our blockers. So it's just lethal. Good game. But you see, instead of scooping and running away, you say good game. Power dragon. This is for you again. And let them take lethal. Who else scooped on us? I'm gonna get you. I'll rag on you. All early access event. <laughs> Alrighty then. Going first. Three land. A little slow. But you know what? It's there. You're live on stream. Did you know that you could request music? Come hang out on Twitch. Big chillin'. Um, this is not active till three, ever. Synthesizer or duplicator. Hey, ramping out. Love to see it. This is also make a token, which is good. Oh. It's not bad. Let's see how fast they beat us down though, right? Is it a crime to scry? No. <laughs> you have to target them, right? Oh, I like that. Oh, these are both duplicators. I thought it was another synthesizer for some reason. That's kind of funny. Should we kill it? I want to have mana for the sacrifice. Like, I want to pay one sack and then pay two for a copy of it. Create a token that's a copy of it. Okay, it's in play. Are they going to play land on top of it? No. I'll kill Bill. Probably still. <clears throat> or do we just take it now? We could take it here. Yeah. We'll just kill Bill anyways. So first... No, because we need to pay two.
Yes. And then we still have another removal spell. And then this makes a copy of it. Perfect. Two removal spells. Not terrible. That's pretty chonky. The life gain's good too. Not to mention it was free. Oh, they're going to destroy an artifact. That's really good. I, uh... I should have killed Kellen. I, f I forgot about that ability. I forgot about that ability. Kellen Kid is also pretty decent. Lando... We have to kill it. Just take it. They still are dominating us. I need that fifth land. Yesterday. Very nice. That's flawless. Um, is that going to trigger? Yes, it is. Beautiful. I like that, right? Love to see it. Nice. Free casting the whale. Oh, it's beautiful. So, unfortunately... You know, we did not even get a white land. I mean, they think it where it is it deck, maybe. I'm just going to pass turn. Keep it quick. Good game. Pass turn. That's pretty good beatdown. Uh, you know, we do run white in the deck. <laughs> uh, Kellen dunking on us, though, with that artifact removal. Wow. I uh, I misjudged that. Going first. Thank you. They scooped prematurely on our last match. I didn't really appreciate that. Adaptive, huh? I don't mind. Just take it. Oh, that goes too. This is fun. <laughs> Prototype in play. A little ramp on the side. No, mono green is good. We're going to struggle uh, in these later turns here. That needs to be exiled. If at all possible. <laughs> Keep the removal up. Don't want to provide them with the treasures if I don't have to. Because we could still deal four damage instead to something here. Just destroying it. Well, I guess this would be the appropriate time to kill it. We only need to deal two damage anyways. I need a second blue source off the top. I guess I activate this. 
to draw and discard for three, just to find the land here, right? Hello. Um, <laughs> removal is important. So is that synthesizer. We'll land in play. We could sack to make a 3-3. Three, three. All right, we don't really need multiples. Let's see how this turns. Oh. Okay, that's good. That's really good. They destroy the one that's not tapped. Yep. It is only a minus one as well. So it's pretty good against us, right? Basically dunks on us, right? Barsically darks on us, Dergy. All right, here's a land. You are brutal. It's just going to keep making more of them, right? So that is not going to be the option. No matter what we play, they destroy. Should we scoop up like they did to us? What do you think, chat? Let's take the scry. I think it's important here. Duplicator gets us going, but it's just Nissa, right? It's pretty simple. Uh, we'll probably just chump block here. save our health points it's not great maybe they're greedy and they just make another token no they kill the synthesizer that's good like i said this is just gonna nissa oh. kind of a bummer It's not good. Right? It's just like, you can't beat that. My entire deck is artifacts. Well, we're going to gain ourselves a turn at least. Right? They can take all the time they want. But don't you dare take a second. Because then I'll be scooping up. Ah, it's just silly to me. Right? Why not finish up the match? Even if it does take us another 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes. Your day that important? Mm, I might go for it. Not really getting anything. Removal's good for us. It's a nice trade. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we have the vault. That's nice. I like the bud farmer quite a bit. Food tokens are good. 
guess I'm just going to look... I'm going to remove them all instead of one, right? We could still uh, play that, too. Oh, gosh. These are all bad options. All pretty terrible options. Take it. We're down to 10. There's not much else we can do. We could kill the farmer, but I gotta kill this freaking thing, dude. You know? It's not good. Um, this can block. Because I think the crew is one, right? It's too late now. I'm pretty sure the crew is one. Yeah. Yeah. Which isn't great, but... I mean, trading with a farmer is not bad. I can't believe it. Ah, that took us so long to get rid of Nyssa. <sighs> no thanks. You lost your interaction privileges last match we had. Nice. That's very good. Take the draw engine. It's a trade, which is bad, but it's still worth it. Rookies a go. Good game. They're probably, you know, emoting us to death here because I'm not scooping. They don't realize it's about showcasing cards. And, you know, even though it's going to beat us, I'd still, and I'm sure you still, would love to see the Hydra, right? You don't have to play the new cards yourself to showcase them. Did you know? <gasps> you could actually have your opponent showcase them alongside you. Oh, my gosh. Groundbreaking discovery. <laughs> See, and then you can, at the end of the match, give thanks by saying good game. It's really that simple. Oakley dokley, Jezekai, Artifacts. They're getting out there, stinking up the place. We did a non-creature variant. We did in Jessica here. We also did a creature variant in Naya, uh, really playing with artifacts and having a good time. Uh, no joke. Uh, they're very powerful currently, and I would like to see more of them. Uh, and it's honestly, I know it can be frustrating uh, with the current card pool and longer rotation but as we get the injections of new sets it should further dilute and provide new opportunities uh, which is great and um, I do believe the meta is going to shift I just hope uh, we can all keep up right so uh, maybe you let it sit for a bit and if you get these cards cool you can play with this deck uh, maybe wait a week you know, see how the meta shifts if you really don't have a lot of wild cards to be throwing around. Um, I can't guarantee you this is a top meta deck. It certainly felt good. Probably the best deck I've played in the event so far. Um, you know, lots of scoops, which is good. And uh, lots of control, 
which I guess is kind of probably the reason for those scoops. But uh, it's nice, you know, it's very powerful. And uh, the consistency, you know, it's not just like you, if you don't get these perfect cards, you lose. Um, just wait a couple more turns. You'll get there. And um, yeah. So I enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the deck and uh, if there's any ways we could improve it or include other new cards within the most recent release. Of course, I have all the review of each individual card done in the spoiler playlist if you've not yet seen. And we're going to continue to highlight new decks uh, as the days and weeks roll out. So cheers, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Join the community Discord. But most importantly, have an absolute magical day and I'll catch you soon in the next. <laughs>